Hey everybody, this is Travis, your manufactured home nerd. We've done a lot of really um, upper grade, I guess high end homes lately. So we're gonna kind of go back to the basics with this one. This house here is the MD3832, built by Cabco Builders out of Boaz, Alabama. Now they have two series, the MD series and the KB series, and that this one here is built in their MD series. A lot of upgrades that you can add to this house if you like. Um, and there's some good standards in here as well. One of the big things we do for all of our homes, of course, is upgrade that insulation to thermal zone three and put those vents in the ceiling because we are in a hotter climate. Now, if you were up north, it would probably be better to have the vents in the floor because heat rises. It helps distribute the air a little bit more evenly. But since we're down south, always in the ceiling. Now, as you can see, this is a vinyl siding house all the way across, but there are options to do like an LP accent under the dormer, or you can do the whole home in LP siding. That is LP shutters. Um, now, LP is like an OSB product that's laminated so that it can be paintable, and it, it's a little bit more sturdy than the vinyl products that you can see. I just want to show you a little bit more of the house. It's a four bedroom, two bath. Oh, that's our grove. Y'all have seen that video before. Now y'all can see here, this house is sold, so I'm not gonna show the name, but it's got a 12 inch I-beam as well as a 12 inch hitch. Um, gives you a little bit more structure than some of those 10 inch I-beams you might see everywhere. Well, sorry about that interruption, guys. We had uh, one of our lot guys was coming to ask me where our manager is. I just wanted to stop and answer him. I do apologize. You know, see the back of the home, got a little electric plug in there. We do have an eave all the way around. Of course, that is vented, so make sure your moisture doesn't stay in your home. We This home isn't blocked fully like it would be as it would be on your property, but we can you know, of course it will get blocked correctly once it gets delivered to you. Now, going around here, we're gonna go on inside. Now this four bedroom, like I said, it's 32 by 64, right at 19, 20 square feet. Uh, it's got split floor plan, so the kids' bedrooms are on the right. Master bedroom's gonna be on the left. Now, a lot of people like to customize this house, and Capco is great at customizing. As you look, we do have the wall board on the walls here. That is something that can be replaced with painted sheetrock when ordering your home, as well as several other things that we can do. Some folks want to add space to the house. Others don't like something like this built-in right here or these little walls. Make it a little more open or get a bigger dining room, and those are all options we can do. Now you see here, the entryway has no carpet. Now standard with Capco, you'll have no carpet in your kitchen, dining room, and bathrooms. But we decided not to do it in the living room. It is an upgrade charge to do no carpet throughout the home or in individual rooms because it is a hand-laid vinyl tile. Now y'all see, this is probably the smaller room out of all four bedrooms. But it's still got a good size. You can fit a queen-size bed, full-size bed. Maybe a dresser, but not a desk. But a lot of our customers will add footage to this one room and increase the footage in their dining room or kitchen as a result as well. Good size closet for this home. Now, off, and this is all right off the foyer and then bedroom two and three here. I can't really show you that's a large walk-in closet and it is a large room, but it is full of supplies. Of course, it is wire and brace for a ceiling fan there, but we can order it with ceiling fans as you like. Now also, we order all of our Capcos with two by four walls set at 16 inch centers. Now your exterior walls are gonna be standard at a 16 inch center, but we can you we do the two the 16 inch center throughout on the interior. You can also upgrade to a two by six exterior wall if you choose. On the 32 wide homes, you're gonna have a two by eight floor joist. And on your 28 wide, you're gonna have a two by six floor joist. So one of the things is this does have upgraded blinds. They're the cordless blinds that you can adjust just by raising or lowering. And all the homes will also come with thermal pane windows. Now all the windows that are built and put in new homes now are gridless with Cabco. So you'll no longer have the grids in the windows when we're ordering. 
And see, this is that large walk-in closet. That other bedroom has the same size closet, as you can see. It is huge. And then that is a big queen size bed. We easily have room for a dresser and a desk in, this, in these two rooms. Now we'll go check out the dining room and the kitchen. You have two big windows in here. And that's a, it's only got four chairs, but that's a six seater. Maybe have room for an eight seater, but I'm not so sure. I'd probably prefer to do the bench seating. And then you have a built in here you can store your fine china or coffee mugs, collections, wet bar, whatever you like. We could even, like you see in the legend, put a vegetable sink over here if you wanted and make it so it is a coffee bar or a wet bar. Now, if you look in this kitchen, that's not a backsplash. That is an actual wallboard, but it is an option to do a backsplash in here if you choose. These are MDF cabinets. The MD series comes with those. We can do the rolled countertops as you see here um, where you're not going to have water they have some that are a double roll and some of the single roll and you can also order without the rolled countertops i don't recommend it but it saves you about 500 bucks to do so of course we did the drawers over the doors on your cabinets so you have plenty of drawers and you have this huge island right here places for bench or for stools on the other side as you see, probably could add one more stool if we wanted. Got the smooth top stove and the side-by-side -side fridge, all stainless, as well as the stainless dishwasher right next to the gunmetal stainless farm sink. Now they got the 50-50 split on these. Some of the builders will do a 60-40, uh, but Cabco does the 50-50. Other builders will do no split. It's just one big basin. One of the things you might not have noticed in this house is a pantry. That's because there isn't one. We can add one right here in this corner in place of that if you chose. But I've also had some folks, we add it right there where that little space heater is. We do a little pantry there. I've also some, done some other rearranging with the floor plan to do a corner pantry right there. There's a ton of different options when it comes to redrawing the floor plan. This one has a wood burning fireplace. They got two color options in the MD series for these these fireplaces here. One's kind of gray, one's kind of brown, but they are a nice little addition. Of course, you can do a electric fireplace there if you wanted and have shiplap accent with the electric as well. Now, don't feel like you're stuck with a fireplace. You can opt to not have one, or you could even move it and put it on a different wall. I've had some people put it on the wall where that couch is. Instead of three windows, we end up with two on either side of the fireplace but you could even put it in that corner or on that wall if you like. There's endless options. One of the things I haven't shown is these beams in here. Now they would be kind of teed off there along the marriage line, but they are a nice addition. Give it that rustic look. And there is three inch crown molding throughout the house as well, not the flat molding. Now going over here, we're gonna see more of the house. This is your utility room. We added the mop sink. There's your AC unit, furnace, a coil, whatever you want to say, right there. Fiberglass mop sink. It is fairly deep. And of course, a little more storage under there. Like I was saying, the PEX plumbing throughout this house, except for your PVC drops. You have your washer dryer hookup here, as well as a whole home shutoff. We want to make sure that you're good in case you have a leak. There's a beautiful cottage door for your exit and a full size breaker box. Plus room to put a little freezer right there if you wanted to. Now remember I said this is highly customizable. That little built in over there in the dining room. So right there is in the corner there is your water heater. I've had some people rather have it in a closet. And so in that case we put it right here. This is a little linen closet. Now this does have the wire racks that is standard with Cabco, but we can do the wooden shelving if you like to call it the innovative closet shelving. Um, one thing I haven't mentioned about this house is the price. It is right around 140,000 as shown, um, give or take a couple of thousand. And so that means that it runs around 70 to $74 a square foot. This one is a wind zone one, but we can order it as a wind zone two that costs about 
3500 or a wind zone three that costs about 4500 the different options now here on this closet you got the double doors you could do single doors you could do barn doors if you like and the built-in sweater rack some people call it a shoe rack but it is intended for a sweater rack so you're supposed to fold your sweaters i didn't know that until i started working here and then you got some extra shelving there and there, I would probably do some double hung shelving in here as well to give me just more options for hanging clothes. Of course, there's even an AC vent in your closet. Help keep the humidity off your clothes because you know we're in Louisiana here. We're definitely going to have humidity. It's a giant king size bed. So there is a ton of room. You got nightstands on either side. Easily room for a dresser. There is one of the ceiling fans. That's a five blade stone crest ceiling fan. E easily room for more. I've had other people say right there where those double doors are, they'd probably rather have walls and have a door here and a door there to the closet. So it's kind of a his and hers and they could put a TV wall mounted right there. And that's definitely an option when we're designing this house. Now coming into the master bathroom, You got the big soaker tub, you got the vanity, you got the built-in mirrors, and there are different options when it comes to the mirrors, and of course the countertops. This is a white ice granite. It is used to be one of the more popular, but now it's kind of going away. The, what you saw on the island in there is definitely more popular, but it still features that rolled countertop edge, and there is an extra set of drawers over there for storage. Tried not to show myself to y'all in the mirror. Quite a few light switches there because there is vanity lighting lighting here and then of course lighting right above me here um, as well as one of those switches is for your your fan now you do have a six foot fiberglass shower now with capco you can't do the tile showers unless you do paint and sheet rock in at least three rooms and so this is kind of the alternative to have a big walk-in shower now if you do the paint and sheet rock we can easily put a six foot tile shower or even eight foot tile shower, just might have to rearrange. One of the things I do love is you see here, you got your handle to turn on the shower on the opposite side of where the water comes out, which is great because that means that I don't have to get wet to turn it on. Now, sometimes we rob Peter to pay Paul and normally this would have a rain shower head in here, but we took that to go replace one at a customer's house. But again, this is fiberglass. All the tubs and showers or tub shower combos are fiberglass with Cabco and that is great because that means it is repairable as opposed to having to worry about dry rot or replacing it. Because if you see how big this basin is, could you imagine trying to replace that by carrying it through the doors? I don't think it would fit. Of course, we added this extra cabinet stack here. So you have more room to store linens, toilet paper, whatever, what have you. Um, and they are very deep. It'd be full of towels and junk at my house. Of course, the elongated toilets. These are one of those, why wouldn't you? They only cost about $50 to $100 to upgrade, and it's just simply worth it for your comfort. Now, this is a Cabco. It's probably on the lower spectrum when it comes to cosmetics, um, but that is what helps make it affordable. When you do add the painted sheetrock with Cabco, you're looking at costing anywhere from seven to $10,000. So, I mean, it would push us up to the 150s. You did the tile shower. Those cost about $3,000, um, actually a little bit more, but you know, you're looking at pointing, you know, pushing the price up to about 155 or so, but it's still less than $80 a square foot, which is simply great. Now this house here has been sold. Of course we can always order it or design you one. And I love talking about what people want in their house. So if you have any questions, about what we can do with Cabco or any of our other builders, please don't hesitate to give me a call. 318-487-1819. Again, my name is Travis, and thanks for walking with me today. I hope you enjoyed the tour, and please don't forget to subscribe so you can see more tours every week. Y'all have a great day.